Hi everyone, um, I am Rachel and I'm one of the contributors to Free Sewing and today I just wanted to uh, go over a little bit what Free Sewing is and how you can contribute um, and what we're going to be doing today is just setting up the development environment. Um, if you are a coder and you know what you're doing, this probably is going to be really base level. Um, I am uh, still learning how to code, so I'm going to kind of run through some of the challenges that I ran into when I was setting up the development environment, so hopefully that'll help you um, if you've run into any of these issues. The other thing is if you do run into any issues, um, we have a lot of support, and you can go to our <clears throat> uh, Discord channel and ask questions, and there are a lot of people that are there to help you. So, um... I am just going to go over really quick. This is the free sewing website. Um, what we do is we have a lot of patterns. Uh, whoops. We have a lot of patterns that you can choose from, and all of them are made to measure using uh, parametric pattern drafting. <clears throat> and um, so you can either pick a pre done size or uh, you can set up your own measurements so you can get a pattern that's made exactly to your measurements. Um, the thing that I wanted to go over is if you are interested in coding, um, you can go over to the Free Sewing Development website. It looks kind of similar. It's a little bit different. Um, some different options that you can go to. If you want to just go over here, this is kind of like getting started guide and it walks you through all of the things that I'm going to be showing you today with a couple little extra things that I'll show you. Um, but I wanted to work through the tutorial that we have. <clears throat> it is uh, a bib making tutorial. Um, so it just shows you how to make this bib, how to do all of that. So the first thing that you want is uh, Node.js, uh, you want to have some type of JavaScript on your uh, machine. So you can do that by uh, going over to Node and downloading it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that step. Um, and if you're already coding, you probably have that already too. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to get my terminal open. Um, so if you want to see what type of version of Node you have, you can just type in node-v for version, and it'll tell you what type of Node you're running. If you type this in uh, and you don't have Node, um, I believe you'll get some type of error message or like something like, go here and... Anyways, uh, here is the link. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go and bring in the, basically all of the, I'm not really sure what it's called, but <laughs> you want to um, add this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to go to um, a file where I want to set up a new pattern. Um, So I'm just going, I made like a little file uh, to run this in. So now that I am in that file, I can run the npm in it, resewing pattern. It might take a little bit for it to set up um, and bring all of those packets in. <coughs> so we'll just wait. Um, so you'll get this kind of uh, setup of uh, what language do you want it? I'm going to do English, and I'm just going to follow what is here. Um, just filling that in because we're doing the bib tutorial. So I'm going to say tutorial and 
just push enter and the description is the free sewing tutorial and what type of pattern it's going to be a pattern um, and it's an accessory and this just links to um, my github <clears throat> the other thing you want to do is if you don't have a github already set up an account and before um, you do all of this you want to make sure that your terminal is um, linked to the github and you want to do that with the configure um, command the git configure and that'll help you log in and so uh, you can push stuff up into your GitHub. So that's right. Um, and this is going to be the, the repository that it will make. And um, I don't know too much about Yarn, so I'm just going to pick the um, Node Packet Manager. Um, and so now it'll run a little bit of an install, and it might just take a little bit. Um, so we'll just wait for that again. <laughs> All right. So it's finished going. Uh, oh, and it actually installed. <laughs> I was hoping to run you through some issues that I had, but I guess I resolved that and I'm not sure how to okay well anyway so if we look here um, I didn't get any errors which I was hoping to show you guys some of the issues that I had um, but if you do have any issues you might need to run a uh, node version manager um, and if we have any documentation for this, we'll put that information um, in there too. Basically, you want to download the version manager and um, install uh, some different things to make sure that you have the correct permissions and um, that it will run properly. Um, okay, so now that that's all done, um, we're going to want to open up your development environment, uh, or at least your, like, I'm using Visual Studio Code. All right. So um, I went ahead and opened that. I'm going to open do this really quick so that way we can see what is going on on both screens I think it's cut off a little bit over here so I'm sorry about that um, okay so one thing that I really like about running um, it in Visual Studio Code is you can open up two terminals inside of uh, Visual Studio Code um, and what you want to do is you want to run it in basically run these commands in two separate um, terminals. You can do that by opening up two terminals um, or you can do that here in your Visual Studio Code. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are in the correct uh, folder or directory. So in the um, tutorial you're going to run npm run start and that will run uh, something to help you get a um, basically your development environment open. And then over here, you're going to want to go to the example file and do, we'll just scroll down here so you can see the code too. It's basically the same thing. Uh, npm and start. And this should automatically open a window. I've got it over here. I have a, another uh, file that I've been working on. So I think it's thinking about it. So once that comes up with the right thing, I will show you guys. So what we have here is we have um, is basically the window that we're going to be looking at to see what is 
going on. And you're pretty much ready to code. Um, I just did want to go over in here. You have basically all of the areas where you're defining your different parts, um, different options. Um, in the source file, you're going to have this box uh, JS, and this is uh, basically all the code that you need to create this box. Um, in the next video, I'm just going to show you how to um, start drafting uh, your pattern and kind of talk about the different API that is involved and how it's utilized. Um, so yeah, but if you if you have any um, questions or concerns, please feel free to hop over to our Discord channel. Um, let me get that up and I can show you guys. So if you wanna hop over to our Discord channel, we'll also um, link that. But basically you can ask a bunch of questions. This is kind of where we get together and talk about stuff. Um, and we have different channels so that way uh, we can have different groups. You can share the stuff that you made. We're always looking for people to help. So um, the new patterns that we've been developing and um, always looking for people to code. And if you don't have like the mixture of knowledge between coding and pattern making, we are always looking for people to help pair up to utilize the skills to de develop more patterns. So thanks for watching.